we got an old Conwell signal here. We're gonna stay here for a bit. Hope we get some more action. Let's get it. We're stationed here, south of the Silas Ohio, on the Sandusky Line, and this is an NS Company train train heading southbound, and I have no idea what the symbol on that one, if you guys do know what it is, let me know in the comments. Anyway, let's get started. We would go down to the Silas in Ohio just to go for events for like a few hours, and then we would go out to Lima to see the Texas flag, which is Western Maryland Heritage Locomotive. That would be leading a 508 heading towards Detroit, Michigan, but right now, let's focus on the Sandusky line. This would end up being Chicago Fort Wayne Eastern heading eastbound on the Lima subdivision. And we were greeted to see a freshly painted GW paint on a Dash 8 leading. But then the trailing unit is not even painted yet. It's still in its Y3 paint scheme from CSX. We just sitting here in Lima and then we just heard CF and E coming east. I would thought it would be like another SD40, but I was wrong. I was greeted with a Dash 8 duo. One that we painted already, the other was not. This would end up being 353 heading southbound after getting a crew change at the Lima Yard. We did end up seeing a Y2 Jeep switching around the yard, but we did not able to see it. However, it will be next time till we see that Y2 Jeep again, which is 4419. However, we're basically at NS Tower. So, it's a diamond with the Chicago Fort Wayne Eastern, short as CFNE. Basically, we're here for the Texas flag, Western Maryland. For the rest of the time, we're going to be here. We'll be greeted to meet up with some friends of ours and see some trains here, too.
this would not be 353. This would end up being 561. Coming out of South Kirk, Old Buffalo, to Cincinnati, Ohio. There's been a couple simple changes for Detroit area. Now, 510 comes out of Louisville, Kentucky to Detroit, Michigan. It's still a Detroit train, but we got a new train. This is M508. M508 is a new Cincinnati train comes out of Cincinnati to Detroit, Michigan. There's been a couple times that they wanted 510 from Louisville to Wallbridge, and then 810 to Wallbridge to Detroit, but now it's a normal 510. They would start their journey from Louisville to Sensi with Autoax, and then from Autoax to basically all mixed freight. It's basically another 216 or any other other wag out of the loop. So now after 561 go by, here comes 508 going north. <laughs> After getting 508 here at Lima, we decided to make our way home an hour and a half drive. Anyway, we did have a good day here on the Sandusky Line and the Toledo Sub. If you guys do not know, after we catch this and get our night's sleep, we have a seven day trip to basically do whatever. like go up to like Northern Michigan for a few days and then do Wisconsin to do a lot of well fitting in the Wisconsin area. Like we would start to the west, make our way east. Anyway, if you have guys not checked out that video yet, I recommend you guys do that. It'll be linking above or I'll show you guys a screenshot of it right now. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the Michigan State, or the Buckeye State Well.